Here's what I like about Zach George. I like that Zach George is actually putting videos out. He is not just talking about training. He is not just training in his house with his own dog. He's actually putting videos out there. We don't have to watch it if we don't wanna watch it, but he's at least doing something. There's too many trainers on YouTube who are talking into a microphone. There's too many trainers who are training their own dog in their house and calling that dog training. It's not dog training. I would love to talk about dog training. It's the easiest thing in the world. I could talk about it all day. I could talk about the concepts. I could talk about uh, ratio strains and DRO and DRI, uh, variable schedules of reinforcement, extinction burst, all these things that were trained many years ago in a Skinner box with rats and then sold like it's fact and that it's gonna work in the real world even though the real world is nothing like a box, a controlled environment with a rat. That's what the positive reinforcement folks are doing. They're talking about all these concepts in their living room, into a microphone, and acting like that's gonna work in the real world. It's all over YouTube. Even non-positive folks, they're talking into microphones. It's easy, it's lazy. It's the easiest thing in the world. Dog training is a doing thing. Zach George, upstate canine guy. I was look, cause I was looking at who my subscribers also watch. And there's three main people. Upstate canine guy is one, I like that guy. Zach George is another one. And so I was like, what do I think about Zach George? I don't agree with really anything he does. I honestly haven't watched. I tried to watch a video because I was gonna watch one and then do this video. I got like five minutes in. I, I couldn't finish, not because it was horrible. It was just not, it was not my thing, right? It was too cut up and too TV-like. And he was in New Orleans and he had a squeaky toy and he was walking the dog down the street and he, every time the dog passed someone, he'd put in a sit and he'd squeak the toy. No one does that. About five, if I sat a client down and I said, okay, here's your squeaky toy, I want you to squeak it and walk down San, downtown San Diego and squeak it every time uh, uh, to redirect the dog, about 5% of them would actually do it. I don't give people things to do, even if I say this is the greatest thing ever, that only 5% of the people will do. Why would I do that? I need, we need to find answers that, they're gonna, that they buy into, that they will do in real life. This is real life stuff. So it wasn't my cup of tea, I couldn't make it through, but that doesn't matter. I can just skip and watch something else, but at least he's putting content out there. And so many people are not. And they're training their own dog in their living room with positive reinforcement and acting like that's dog training. It's dog training in a way. It's the easiest thing in the world, but don't act like it's real dog training. Don't act like it's what the industry is with people calling us saying, my dog has separation anxiety and is chewing through walls. My dog is attacking other dogs. My dog bit my child. Positive reinforcement doesn't fix that. And those folks talking in a microphone how, telling you how to fix it, they're not gonna fix it. Every once in a while, uh, I'll get a comment and they'll say, uh, you need to educate yourself and uh, uh, use modern scientific dog training and I always have the exact it's usually on an aggression video when I'm like telling an aggressive dog knock it off it's enough you can't attack other nice dogs and they'll say you need to educate yourself and I'll say hey sh I, I won't get mad or anything I'll just say show me the clip of a positive reinforcement um, um, fixing aggression you know why I say that because there's no clip it doesn't exist the leaders in the positive reinforcement training world they don't work with aggressive dogs they don't help aggressive dogs. I know the leaders. I know exactly who they are uh, from many years of doing this and being in the positive reinforcement world. They're not in those houses. They're not working with those dogs because they don't have answers. They won't respond to this video because they don't have answers. They'll never respond because they know it. So it's not gonna fix it. So I say, link the video. One person actually did link a video. And what was it? A guy talking about how to fix aggression. That's what it was. That's what it always is. You can't talk about dog training. You gotta show dog training. You gotta do videos and put yourself out there. If I'm ever to the point where I'm just talking about it and I'm not on my property or in someone's home doing it, 
it's time to move on. It's lazy, okay? This is a doing business. And back to the point, Zach George, he's at least doing it, right? People like it. People like what he's doing. If they want something else, that's why YouTube's so great. They can go somewhere else, but he's at least doing it. I respect people who are putting themselves out there and showing videos of doing something hard. Dog training is hard for people. Fix, changing an organism's behavior is difficult. It's always difficult. There's not a single situation where it's easy. And you're not only changing the dog's behavior, changing the owner's behavior. There's two learning curves happening at the exact same time. What other industry are there two learning curves happening at the exact same time? Giant learning curves. I don't know if one exists. This stuff ain't easy, okay? So when someone's putting themselves out there, you at least gotta respect it. It's not my cup of tea. Doesn't matter whether it's my cup of tea. He's at least doing it and all these other trainers are talking about it or doing it with their own dog in their living room. Doesn't count. It simply doesn't count. Doesn't matter. All right, so subscribe to the channel if you want. And if you don't want to, don't do it, okay? So. That's your talk about uh, some other trainers and the pros and cons of what you see on YouTube.